Bryce Akins uh, with the Umansky Law Firm, uh, board certified criminal trial attorney here. And I want to uh, discuss a case I recently had uh, where my client was charged with aggravated uh, battery with a deadly weapon. Um, it's a second degree felony, uh, carries potential prison time. And this was an incident that originally arose out of a uh, traffic dispute that continued uh, into a parking lot uh, close nearby. Uh, my client pulled in the parking lot to go about his business. Uh, the alleged victim ended up in the same parking lot, but instead of going to different uh, businesses within this lot, they chose to engage my client at his car. My client never got out and never left his, uh, his car and was accosted by the other driver. And despite telling the driver to leave and go into the business, uh, they attempted to take a swing at him and there my client defended himself. Um, after contentious litigation and uh, locating an independent witness that, uh, whose accounts mirrored what my client's version of events were, we had to file what's called a stand your ground hearing in Florida where we asked them, the court to grant my client immunity from civil or criminal prosecution because he legally defended himself. And after a multi-day hearing, uh, the court ruled that my client did in fact uh, defend himself according to the law and dismissed uh, all of the charges against him. Based upon the court's ruling, uh, finding my client did legally uh, defend himself, he faces no sanctions of probation or uh, monetary fines against him or even subject to any civil liability from being sued for the injuries sustained by the other party. Um, under the law, uh, if you, a person legally, uh, defends themselves against an attack, uh, they are immune from uh, prosecution either civilly and criminally. So my client does have the opportunity to continue uh, with his employment, uh, raising his family without any threats of any uh, future litigation regarding this incident um, that's caused a lot of uh, stress over the last two and a half years as this was a 2021 incident.